Hello everyone, this is Joe Pantaleo, founder of Tapping for Freedom. Now in this video, I'm going to briefly explain to you what tapping is and give you a demonstration. Now tapping, also known as EFT, which stands for Emotional Freedom Techniques, is a combination of ancient acupressure and modern day psychology. Now we call it tapping because we are literally tapping at the endpoints of your meridians while focusing on a certain issue. Now this is an incredible technique that you can use for aches, pains, fears, anxiety, financial issues, weight loss, stress. Now the list goes on and on. Um, the way it works is while tapping on these meridian points and focusing on the issue, say a fear, a stress, or whatever the issue is, we are sending a calming signal to the amygdala in the brain. Now the amygdala is responsible for the fight or flight responses in the brain. So we're turning off those stressful signals that the brain is sending us and telling it that everything is gonna be okay. Now let's go through a tapping round. Step number one, you wanna identify what you wanna tap on. Now it could be something physical, like a back pain, maybe tension in your neck, maybe a headache. Now if it's not something physical, you know, you could pick stress, maybe frustration, anger. Step number two, you wanna give this issue that you've chosen a number on the zero to 10 scale. So zero being the lowest and 10 being the highest on the intensity scale. And you wanna write that number down. So for example, I have a shoulder pain and it's a level seven. So I write number seven down. Step three, we're gonna start tapping. Now we're gonna use very general language, but as long as you focus on the issue you're working on, you're gonna get the results you're looking for. So follow along and repeat after me. Now the point we're gonna start with is the karate point. Karate chop point, you can use either hand, whatever you feel comfortable using. We're gonna go with, even though I feel all this stress, I deeply and completely accept myself. And we're gonna go to the top of the head. You wanna tap about five to seven times, this stress. The next point is the eyebrow point, right where the nose meets and the eyebrow ends. There's two points to this. You can do either side, doesn't matter. All this stress. The next point is the side of the eye. There's also two points to this. Either or, doesn't matter, you can do both. This stress. The next point is under the eye, also dual points. You can do one or the other. All this stress. The next point is under the nose. All this stress in my body. The next point is the crevice where the chin is. All this stress. The next point is a collarbone area. If you feel your collarbone, just go one inch down, one inch out. All this stress, or you can do it this way if you want. Now the next point and the last point is under the arm, three inches down. For women, it's where the bra line is. All this stress. Now we're gonna take a deep breath. Now you wanna check the intensity again on that zero to 10 scale. You wanna write that number down. And you want to notice if you felt shift or if something else came up. Um, write that issue down if something else came up. And you want to tap on that after you're done this whole sequence. Now, if nothing else came up or nothing else new came up, you want to continue tapping on the same stressful issue that you're working on. Now, this is a very general tapping sequence. I generally do about four to six rounds, but everyone and every situation is different. So you want to continue the tapping process until you get the relief that you want. Now, when you continue tapping, try to be as specific as possible and don't get hung up on the language. A lot of people ask me, you know, how do I figure out what to say and what words to use? Now, the, probably the best way I explain this is imagine you're telling your friend or your best friend what the issue is and what words would you use to tell that person. Now, use those words when you're tapping. And remember, consistency is key. Now, if you like this video, hit the like button below share with your family and friends, and be sure to subscribe. I wanna thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.